So for most people, a new year means it's time to set some new goals. And that's great if you've done that. But a lot of people set goals, but they don't actually make them smart. They don't make them specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, or time bound. They don't set smart goals. They don't set a plan. And then two twos, those goals are never really met. So if you're struggling to make your goals smart, that's exactly what I'm going to help you guys do today. I'm going to take you through this step by step. So if that's you and you're interested in this, then keep watching. Hi guys and welcome back to Fit With Tea. I hope you guys are good. I've created a free downloadable worksheet for you guys. So check that out in the link in the description box below. It is a smart goals guide to help you set your smart goals step by step over five days. Of course, you don't have to do it in five days. You can do it all in one day. You can do it all in one hour. It's up to you. But I've done it in five days to break it up and to make it easy for you guys. I've also done it in five days because I'm going to be doing a five day smart goals challenge as part of my faith and fit athletics community. So if you want to join that, all you have to do is download the Vibely app. It's free and you can take part in this challenge for free. Join us in real time as we go through this guide day by day. I'll be available in the community to be able to answer your questions directly, to help you directly. So the challenge is gonna take place from the 6th of December to the 10th of December, 2021 to set goals for 2022. If you're watching this video after that time, then you can still download the guide and you can just fill it out for yourself following this video as a tutorial, really. So the first part of SMART is specific. You need your goal to be specific. It's too vague to say, I want to get fit. You know, I've said that before in this video, that is just too broad. And that's why I often encourage people to use the five components of health-related fitness. I've got a video on that where I take you through how to plan your workout. So again, I have a free worksheet there to help you plan your workout but you might be one of the people who actually struggles with the first part of that document which is actually setting the smart goals so this video today is to help you do that to learn how to actually make smart goals you know i'm trying to not assume that everyone knows how to make their goals smart and so i'm going to specifically show you how to do that so specific choose which components of fitness you actually want to improve do you want to improve a health related component do you want to improve skill related components one more than one so be specific with regard to that on the sheet i've got all of them and then all you have to do is tick the ones that you actually want to improve now you're making your fitness goals specific i've also put down how much weight do you need to or want to lose if you use your bmi if you find out your weight at this moment your height at this moment if your weight is outside of the acceptable range for your height then aim to get your weight at a minimum to the place where you're in the healthy bmi range if you are in the healthy bmi range then i would suggest utilizing body fat percentage as something more specific to aim for so based on your body fat percentage that you have now you may be in the acceptable or the average range for whether you're male or female and for your age but you might want to get into a fitness range and so you can use the ace body fat chart to actually help you to identify which range you fall into and what you need if you want to reach the fitness range if that's one of the aims that you have and so now can you see how specific your goal is you should be able to identify what components of fitness you want to improve exactly how much weight you're going to lose not just i want to lose weight but exactly how much and because now you know why or you have a better understanding as to what is actually good a good weight you now can say specifically i want to lose 10 kg 3 kg 5 kg whatever it is and then body fat percentage, you can actually say by what percent you want to change your body composition by, okay? So body composition is a health related component of fitness. Using the charts that I suggested and that I've left links to in this worksheet, you can actually identify where you fall and what percentage you want to lose to fall into your new goal range okay so we're specific now we need to make our goals measurable let's say for example you said you wanted to work on your cardiovascular endurance that was a specific goal that's absolutely fantastic how can you measure cardiovascular fitness i'm not going to go through every component i'm just going to use cardiovascular fitness your weight and your body fat percentage just as examples for you but cardiovascular endurance how can you measure your cardiovascular endurance for example you can choose a distance i'm going to choose 800 800 meters how long does it take you to run that do a little test before you start your workout at this moment in time then when you measure yourself in a whatever period you choose when we get to time bound we'll talk about that a bit more but you can then use that to measure you need to be able to measure the goal that you set so you can measure the different components of health related fitness skill related fitness they're all measurable so that's why it's a 
good specific goal. Your weight is measurable. All you have to do is stand on a scale. Your body fat percentage to measure your body fat percentage. You need skin for calipers or you need a body fat scale or a handheld device that also measures body fat percentage. So this is exactly what you need to do. So whatever components of fitness you've chosen, you need to be able to say how you're going to measure that. So all you need to do is select a test that you're going to use to measure that component of fitness. And again, there's all links to all of these things in the worksheet. So make sure you download that in the description box below. Okay, achievable. How are you going to achieve these things? Of course you need a plan, but before we get onto the specific of your workout, when and where are you gonna train? So what days? what facility or what at what facility or at what park or where are you going to train and what time so choose the day the time and the location how long are your sessions going to be plan from before how long is session going to be i'm going to do three times one hour sessions a week on a monday at 12 o'clock sorted now you're actually creating an action plan it's not just something that you're saying i want to get fit but you've got no plan in store you know when you know what time of day you know where you're going to train you know how long you're going to train for then you need to decide what kind of sessions are you going to do are you just going to do classes are you going to do gym based sessions are you going to swim are you going to join a club and do sports type sessions so you need to decide what kind of sessions you're going to do it narrows down your plan even more so now from based on the type of sessions you're going to do then you can be more specific again as to the exact exercises and then last but not least i've got who will you train with you might not be training with anybody but if you are make sure that you put this down again as part of your plan but this is all about achievable how are you going to achieve your goals are you going to be training with a personal trainer are you going to be training by yourself are you going to be training with a partner make sure you write this down this is all again part of your plan and it's really helping you to make your goals achievable okay so number four is relevant this is really important because what makes this goal relevant to you what makes this goal something that's going to motivate you throughout the next year or throughout the next period or whatever period of time you've chosen that you're going to choose in the next step after this you need to write this down because if this goal is not important to you it's not valuable to you it's not motivating to you you're not going to keep it and that's probably what a lot of people do they say oh, i want to get fit and because actually it doesn't really have much weight or value to them they don't actually stick with it i talked about in this video how choosing maybe a a competition goal or a life event goal or something like that helps you to keep the goal relevant keep the goal exciting keep you motivated so choose something in a certain period of time a good distance away from you maybe it's three months maybe your birthday maybe a wedding maybe an event that you're going to speak at just something that actually has a bit of weight that's going to keep you motivated and you can keep changing that life event or whatever it is as opposed to not having that it just makes it a bit vague and doesn't give you something to aim for so take some time on this number four relevant and identify what is it in you that makes this goal relevant what's going to keep you motivated make sure you have that written down so that you have it before you so that you can remind yourself in those hard times that will come and last but not least we've got time bound so like i spoke about just a moment ago we need to make this goal have a time period having a time constraint usually brings out the best in us usually brings out more motivation in us so rather than just saying it's a goal i want to get fit with no time stamp on it no time period it's just the ongoing thing it doesn't make it something that you need to do and so creating that urgency on it or that set period that constraint it's just squeezes us a bit to get out the best in us so let's say you've chosen six months what you want to now do is make that six months your long-term goal and then you want to break that into a mid-term goal and a short-term goal so decide at what short-term date are you going to review these goals and at what long-term date are you going to review these goals okay so if you now go back to your specific and you said i want to lose three percent body fat which is going to allow me to go into the fitness range this is me giving an example for you guys basically you now have saying that you've got six months for that time period which is more than enough time then what you're going to do is review yourself at two months and you're going to review yourself at four months so the hope would be that at two months you should have lost at least one percent body fat and then at four months you should have lost at least two percent body fat and by six months the goal is to lose 3% body fat so can you see how this works the other thing that you need to consider when you're doing time bound is not only your relevancy the what you put in relevant the thing that's motivating you to keep you relevant when it comes to your weight and your body fat percentage I've written some key things for you guys that you need to understand and know and that is number one that to maintain a healthy weight loss routine realistically you can lose about one to two pounds a week which is about half a kilogram a week so you need to be realistic in your time frame as well with that in mind based on whatever you said in specific if you said you wanted to lose 10 kg 3 kg whatever 
Bear in mind, you can lose about half a kilogram per week, okay? And life happens as a woman, your cycle happens, different things happen. And so you have to take that into account when you're developing your goals. So think about that. Also, with regards to body fat percentage, on average, you can lose about 1% body fat a month. So that's why if I set a six month goal and saying that six months will lose 3% body fat, it's a realistic goal and it gives you a chance. It's not so pressurizing, but it's also very doable, but you need to still, again, be consistent with it. And hopefully by the six months, you actually exceeded your expectation. So can you see here, not only do you need to have a relevant goal, it needs to be realistic as well, and it needs to be time constrained. So there you go, guys. You literally have smart goals right now. Let me know in the comment section below, what are your smart goals? If you're okay to share them, them. we'd love to see them if you want to share them in a private and friendly community then check out my fave and fitletics community and if you didn't download this guide make sure you download this guide to help you so that you have it to hand you can print it out you can do it on a computer it's up to you i really hope the video was helpful for you if it was please give this video a big thumbs up to help me accelerate my channel to let the algorithm know and so that more people can see this video and if now you want to specifically make your plan then make sure to check out this video and I'll see you guys next Friday.